Hi and welcome to this tutorial on the ELN. In this instance we're going to be talking about where you can find more information and our knowledge base, how to search within the ELN structures and text, as well as talking a little bit about editing hyperlinks that you can copy and paste into the ELN. So first of all where to find more information. As you perhaps already know in our knowledge base we have all kinds of articles. Just go to support.collaborativedrug.com or use the help function that you have within the vault. To get more information on the ELN, simply scroll down until you do find the ELN section where you find more articles with in-depth information, be it on configuring the ELN, creating an ELN entry, etc. Just above in the download section, you will find some quick reference cards. These are practical one-pagers that you can use for printout and having them next to your computer, for example. So let's talk a little bit about the search functionality within the ELN. I've prepared here some documents that we will be importing into the vault, a Word document, an Excel file, a structure, and also a PDF. Let's start by uploading a file. We'll use the PDF file. And then we'll add the Word file and the Excel file. Let's add some type text as well. And finally, a structure. So with all this information in place, let's go back to the ELN pages overview and do a search. Let's start by typing, for example, one of the keywords from the Word document. So as you see, we get only one hit and it points to this second report file docx where we had this one single keyword. Let's type another word, for example, automatically. Now we have two hits. One, you see it's in the body of the entry searching and hyperlink editing, as well as in the PDF file, but also in our latest entry that I've just shown you where it is part of the elnrc.pdf. Now let's search for a structure. We'll just use the simple benzene ring as a substructure. And in this particular case, we get three hits. You can see how the substructure is highlighted in all three cases. Now, if we combine this substructure with a text, retrieving results sorted in the order of most relevance. Within the result, you will see again the body highlights this keyword, but also which file that is contained in the attachment containing this keyword. Below are less relevant examples. For example, in this case, you might have the keyword, but you don't have the substructure included. Now moving on to our third topic for this video, hyperlinks. Let's insert a simple hyperlink, for example, the collaborativedrug.com homepage. If you hover over it, you see the pencil icon, click on it and you get a new box where you can enter any relevant text that you would like. For example, let's call this the CDD homepage. Save the changes and the new text is then reflected, but of course it is still a hyperlink. Let's click on it and we should end up at the CDD homepage. Now, just for the fun of it, let's import a different type of hyperlink. If we take this protocol, for example, and have a look at the hyperlink up here, let's copy paste that and add it to our ELN entry. This is a bit cryptic, but if we edit it, we can now give it a more appropriate name, a more clear name. And here we are with a much more readable name, which is more obvious, leading us back to the protocol overview, protocol definitions, details, etc., of this protocol. It was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.